people know what happened. People know the truth. I'll give it to you. I love her intro. <laughs> I, love I love yours. I love it. I love I yours. Love it. <laughs> You know what? And Justin and I did a reality show together back in the day. We sure did, girl. Couples retreat. Couples retreat. Now, what was that one? We retreated from it. Well, well, I did. You retreated did. from yeah, it. You, you got, got, you got about it in? Because of that show, like, I definitely was mad protective over Jess. Oh, my gosh, she was. And I wanted to whoop her person's butt. I know. That that was the ex person. The ex. But, but Claudia called something. One thing, she ain't. She I'm ain't not a, liar. a liar. And nope. she will see you for what you are. First thing. And she and everything she said. I was like, oh God, it came back. And you'd be mad, like, no, she wasn't right, but she was right. So mm -hmm. thank you, sis. I hate him. Boom. Damn. <laughs> He's gone. He's no longer here. She she, she left him. He moved on. Thank she God. moved on. Oh, no. He did not deserve you. That's yes. big sis. He went off of the border. Uh, uh, first of all, no, <laughs> don't play with me. Nothing. No, don't I didn't do even that. Because you're trying to come for my man now. Like, don't you gotta relax. Are you, the, are you the Latino? <laughs> Claudia, come on. <laughs> Claudia. <laughs> Is he documented? Claudia. Salsa Club for Ango tonight. That's right. That's right. Mexican, like, chill, yo. Oh, man, I ain't saying all that now. Oh, no. You <laughs> said he's not that Mexican. <laughs> Daddy, you got him in the pool. He's not that Mexican. No, he's not that Mexican. Like, he Mexican and black, but, like, his father black and his mother Mexican and black, so, like, he more black. Go ahead, girl. Are you just spilling your no, own tequila? No, this is way more entertaining. <laughs> you just start just, spilling your own tequila everywhere. Just I'm Damn. proud of you. What's his name? Carlos? <laughs> no, it's not. Stop. It's Jose. Stop Claudia. it. Oh, my God. Y'all are really <laughs> bad. Wavo. Does he do tire work? You know what? I quit. <laughs> I'm looking for a good tile guy. What? Uh -uh. <laughs> I'm sorry. We is not. He is not that type. <laughs> Do a rumor report. Hey, we're going to get in trouble. I said, I said we're going to get in trouble too far. Yeah, we're too far. <laughs> last, oh, I didn't go to the sensitivity training like I was supposed oh, to. Oh, boy. Last time. All right, sorry. Um, <laughs> I can't get into serious news now. Yes, you yes, better. You can. Yes, we can. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Wendy Williams' son says he fears for her life. Uh, he had a recent interview and he revealed that uh, he's not feeling the handlers that she has. They are lying and he's claiming they're lying. They're signing her up a project that she's not ready for, uh, including a possible unscripted show. Mm -hmm. uh, he said that they're signing up, signing her up a project she would never do in, a, mm. in, a, you know, in her right mind to make money. Um, they're saying that uh, she's been drinking and her body's not able to process the alcohol because of her health condition. She has lymphedema yeah. and Graves disease. Um, he accuses her handlers of taking advantage of her wealth, fame, and inability to make mm. a proper decision. Uh, he believes her team is ignoring her mental and physical health to continue to profit. Mm. And he said, uh, what's been made more important by the people around her is that while her health may not be great, she needs to keep on earning income. And in my opinion, that should not be the priority at all. Mm. And whoever has been hired, they're taking advantage of someone who needs to get better. Now, if you remember, Wendy's brother also came forward before and said similar things about her team, her management. Yeah. You know, they'll say that she's not in New York and she really is. Yeah. Like, just lying about her whereabouts mm -hmm. and just not being forthcoming on it. So uh, he has a real problem with her team. That's crazy. I, I, Charlemagne, I think you need to step in and I think you should check on your girlfather because he was there from the beginning First with you. First Jessica. No, and I think that, that you should... See, no, this, seriously. That's why we can't have nice things. I haven't spoke to her yet, but nobody would know better than him, right? His Her, her son. Her son would yeah. know. Absolutely, yeah, like her that. son knows. But yeah. you are her godson. Could you shut up? What's and and you, you were sitting on her lap in that picture, and oh now you God. you jumped off the lap, and now you don't got nothing to say. They were very I'm her healing energy. They All were right, very good. close back in the day. They were oh oh was? Wendy and Leonard, hmm? <laughs> Wendy and Lil Leonard. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'll let him. Leonard. I will okay. I will say this though on on, Charlemagne. on on some real Charlemagne and I actually spoke to uh, oh, one of the managers a, about a, what a couple of months ago. Mm -hmm. Was it that long ago? Yes, I think it was a couple of months ago. Yeah. When Wendy's manager. Yeah, okay. and, uh, one of the managers, I'm sure. What he said. And, and he was saying that uh, you know it's crazy when the family comes out like this is they were shooting a show to you know because you know the money was I guess locked up and they were mm -hmm. shooting the show to make sure she was all right. And he was saying that the family members are actually part of the show, like they were there for the shooting and everything mm -hmm. was. What well, Tommy was the brother. Yeah, the brother was so. So I'm you not think sure. they don't like how it's coming out, so now they're speaking out again. It could be two sides to right. every story. That's true. You know? It's a lot of like back and forth with how people feel about Wendy, though. You know, all jokes aside, I know, I, you know, she's going through things. But like, I see a lot of people in the comments, and I can I feel this way, but it's very up and down because I, I, I feel bad for her, mm -hmm. and then like I don't sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Because looking back on like you know how she would just do people, how she would like purposely bring people to her show to do the very same thing, like to, to just 
embarrass them and make mm-hmm. them look bad and feel bad and even just like on a radio just coming up but it's like still do you look past all that to feel bad because as a person i just still feel bad sometimes yeah. even with the job I just said. but you know I, I i feel bad but then sometimes it's like ah i think i, I think, I think in situations like that you don't you don't laugh you learn you know yeah, what i mean yeah, right because yeah, yeah. you just don't know that could be any of us at any given yeah given and moment. she didn't know that it would be her either that's true when that's she was true. And I also like it's also a case to me of what came first the chicken or the egg and if the consumer yeah. didn't eat that stuff up would she do it she probably wouldn't do it mm-hmm. so we're kind of responsible for that as well and people could also come for us and say well y'all yeah. do the same thing yeah you know what i mean yeah well, i did a show and she looked out for me one time yeah. i did a show and she's like oh, is trying to serve you papers Ooh. And I, I, but I, I, I do agree though that uh, you know the people are have, have been using her for a long time, yeah. and, and they know that she hasn't been well for right. a long time. Right. I, and I was gonna say that 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 just tells that you can all, you should always get your estate in order, regardless of of how you are, because you know when something happens, she mm-hmm. can't get you know she didn't have access to her money. They froze mm-hmm. her accounts, well, mm-hmm. and I guess there's nobody you know that is controlling her account that can get that back open. But think about it. They freeze your accounts. How are you supposed to pay your mortgage? Yeah. How are you supposed to live? How are you yeah. supposed to, you know, feed yourself or feed your young child or feed yeah. your, he's not a young man, that young man. But like now she can't get access to her own money. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and maybe they feel it's because of the handlers and the management. So just make sure you get your, all your orders, everything in order. So that way, if you ever have a situation or problem or anything ever happens, that things are taken care of and your family's yeah. good, you know? Okay, we got to wrap up because we're on BT and the radio. Oh, yeah. Right. Ooh, we got to be more professional, you guys. When we come back, we got front page news. Tesla and Figaro will be joining us. And last night, Claudia Jordan got a text at 10 p.m. at night. Mm-hmm. Somebody hit her up and said, what? What you doing? What you doing? Now, she was offended <laughs> by it. Jess doesn't feel like she should be offended by it. No. But we'll discuss if somebody texts you at 10 p.m. at night, what does that mean? Let's discuss 800 585 1051. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.